Hello everybody, I'm Takashi and only 60 days left of this year. That's not too far away, right? Well, you know what's not too far away as well? I was finishing season 8 of My Little Pony. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? <laughs> to think that we have been on this season for one and a half years now. <laughs> I'm so, so, so sorry that we are so slow. <laughs> At least, not you. I am the one who is slow. I am the one who is uploading this like one episode in two months or something like that. That's terrible. I, even though I said I'm gonna upload more. No, I I am gonna promise one thing. I'm gonna finish this season of By the Pony this year. No matter what comes, I'm gonna record everything even if uh, it scares me, it probably won't, but <laughs> We have only six episodes left, and today we are gonna just brush off one of them, which is uh, episode 21. That's what I'm gonna react today, and that's called a Rock Hoof and the Hard Place. Well, that's between a Rock Hoof and the Hard Place, but we are obviously gonna follow Rock Hoof, and we haven't uh, seen the pillars for now for a long time now. I mean, yeah. That, that's one thing of the bucket list, right? We need to follow all of them. We we know that uh, the bearded, <laughs> I forgot his name, Starksword, the bearded, <laughs> is at Flimsan's school, or at least was, until it was closed. But yeah, he was at Las Pegasus. I don't know where he went from there, and we don't know the others. I mean, one of them is obviously at the gardens, but uh, Rokhu probably went home. At least what's left of his home, because uh, that's an archaeological research place now. Uh, so I don't know where he went. But yeah, let's just simply start this right now. <laughs> I don't know where I went with that. And yes, that's the place where he went. Where he lived before. And we have Indiana Pones. And he's happy, happy with the research. No, they, they are not trying to do it by force. They are going carefully. But we're trying to carefully preserve every bit of history here. Yeah, it's not that easy. And he can just tell about it. Careful! Yeah, playing with a wooden ball. Maybe in the past. Now he in a museum. Safe. You belong in a museum. Ah! What did you do? <gasps> oh no! Rockhoof isn't an ideal fit for my team. So, Perhaps Princess Twilight. Unusual talents? Of course, Princess. Of digging? Just get get him off on the roof. <laughs> That's what we want. <laughs> That's oh, that plastic. Wood. What a oh, wood. Oh. He has anger issues. Pony see my decorative centerpieces. They were right here. No, <laughs> no pony <laughs> saw them. <laughs> it's a home run, at least. <laughs> so he's gonna help out in uh, the friendship school. I mean, wait, no, he he wasn't the best at friendship. He was. Be, be, being a stray, everyone was laughing at him. He needs some friendship lessons. <laughs> I forgot about that. He, he was basically the, <laughs> the one who was stand out, who was standing out all the time until he got his uh, legendary shovel. <laughs> Professor Raku. Oh yeah, the students are here. <laughs> I know I'm new to your world, but there's one thing I learned when I saved my village from a rushing river of hot lava. Yes? There's nothing you can't do with hard work. And a shovel! Oh. 
Yay! Break the school! Except maybe stand on stage. <laughs> That's not gonna happen, Spike. So, um, every creature dismissed. We'll see you in class. Uh, that's it? You think that new pony is gonna be the weirdest teacher at school? No, 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 we, you have Pinky. I like new teacher, he big, like Yak. Oh yeah, that, he, he would be good at Yak, yeah, uh, yeah, he's done. Smells like a Yak. Yes, he perfect. He perfect. Oh. He's one of the pillars. He's like pony history. <laughs> no, you're now, don't go that. For a second, I thought Iron Bill was still here. Yeah, furniture is not that strong in this future time. Okay. So it's a class about stories, is it? Yes. And we never ever ever get homework. Good. The best Good. <laughs> way to teach Colts and Billies is by experience. Like the time oh, no. woods and ran across an Ursa Major. Really? Oh. Right. Yes, you are. <laughs> All alone? Aye, and I defeated her too. Now hmm. This I'm interested in. Who does that remind you? Who does that story remind you of? Wait a till. Is that a real story though? It sounds like Rockhoof just hasn't settled into modern times yet. Our school is the perfect place for that. <laughs> this sure. may be the fastest friendship problem you ever solved. No. Dodge, thrust, shovel leap, shovel throw. Wait, are you shovel knight now? <laughs> shovel whack. Now you lot be the Ursa Major. Lots of growl in mind. Oh no. Don't hurt you now. I guess you are too into your stories. In the old days. Oh, oh, what happened next? <laughs> the huge that will leave a laughter. Out of the moonlit mist. There's fearsome fangs at my throat. But I rolled clear. Do a bug of her. <laughs> she backed me up against the wall, ready to pounce. <gasps> I looked at her. She looked at me. Okay. Say, uh, Professor Rockoff? Nope, guess again. <clears throat> <laughs> Twilight, you. Class, why don't we go ahead and take lunch early? Oh, you, you stopped him attack. at the best part. <laughs> he was about to finish up the story. He couldn't do much more damage, could he? <laughs> and we can already tell you're a smash with the class. <laughs> But maybe you could do a little less smashing in the classroom? No, it's oh, yeah, part of the fun. I did get a bit carried away. The students were so interested in my tail. <laughs> yeah, it goes with plants, but I, I guess. Gonna fit in just uh, that, that was not his fault. Oh no, he has PTSD! <laughs> it's a shower pool. Rock hoof? What are you doing? Uh, he is doing the right thing. I would uh, probably stop the fire as well. Fighting a volcano in the good old days. But would some pony kindly explain what is the meaning of all this water? I'm not sure, but I think it's <laughs> <laughs> Yep, it, it's it's about surfing. Out the rage in Inferno. Inferno? Where? Did you not see the smoke and flame? Yeah, that was us. Oh. You know, dragons having a fire breathing competition. Why? I, why were you doing that inside? All the time. That's what we were trying to tell you. We know you're used to being a hero, Rockhoof. Only what we need here is a teacher. Ah. Doesn't ruin an entire class's friendship quilts. Do you know how hard it is to stitch a pineapple pattern? No, he he does not. He definitely does not know that. He does not mean harm. He's just not sure of his own side. He, he reminds me of my dog. 
<laughs> not this one, but my old dog, who was a German Shepherd. <laughs> Don't push him away. Twilight. So apparently, finding Raka a new job is a lot harder than we thought. Has any pony had any luck? Okay, you are still searching for a job for him. Nope, nope. <laughs> You were gonna drive him out of the post office. We did. I mean, he could be a construction worker. Do you know where I can find Cranky Doodle Donkey? I need to deliver his medicine. He has a rash in a very embarrassing place. Oh, <laughs> you have to shout it out to everyone. Oh, I didn't nah. know that. No, Pony did it to hear that as well. Now, just let me know if this is too much pressure. Even for Snowflake, it was uh, too much pressure. Well, at least Rockup's really strong. Maybe we could find him a job carrying heavy stuff. Um, we tried that already. Sakura needed somebody to help her get supplies, but yeah. He's not careful with delivering stuff. A few leaves, but I figured why not bring you the whole thing. But she only did it for leaves. Oh, how horrid. None of the other pillars seem to be having trouble fitting into the modern world. Hmm. Maybe they can show Rock of how they did it. No, they didn't fit it either. <laughs> Probably. Oh, we are gonna see all of them? And I bet he loved to visit them. It would be nice. But he was never the guy who fitted in. Looks different from the old days. Oh, I'm sure once you see your old pal Flash Magnus, you'll feel right at home. Oh yeah. Trot two, three, four. Trot two, three, four. Keep oh. Obviously, we would fit in it with the <laughs> with the soldiers. That was his whole life. That never changes, right? <laughs> As I live and breathe. Is this your squadron? After we got out of limbo, I went looking for work for a pony with experience in the Royal Legion. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Yep. Princess Celestia was happy to find a new drill sergeant for her guard. Yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> really put you in a job that oh. so soon. Oh, this is nothing. You should what, see what, what is that? Is up to. This girl out Pinkie Pie. <laughs> So yeah, every other you the royal landscape artist for the Crystal Empire? Wow. Every other pillar has it well. No, thank you. I've never but I mean they had a they all had a job before. Only Rockhoof was uh, uh, tra being transformed by the shovel. Always could find the beauty in things. But there's not much demand for shovel ponies like me nowadays. Don't give you can be a grave digger. <laughs> That's not helping, I know. It's a CMC episode. Samuel is a motivational speaker. Bet they didn't even have those back in your time. Because we didn't need them. Who knows what to do with their lives? Focus on my voice and okay. feel yourself unlock your potential. <sighs> Imagine everything that troubles you as one big cloud. Now, let it float away. Oh no, he's gonna fart. <laughs> free to do anything you wish. Oh, just fall asleep. I guess he wished he could take a nap. <laughs> and he's loud so, huh? Your home looks just the same as the old days. I wish I could say the same for mine. Well, yeah. I've had to expand my clinic a bit. Only a bit. In this modern world. Oh, looks like you could use some too. What's got you heart sick, Rockhoof? Yeah, it's heart sickness. Oh. Thing is, I can't do my old job like Flash. Or adapt like Miss Main. Or succeed at something new like Somnabula. Or go home like you. Oh. Even Star Swirls still learning about friendship. That yeah. is true. And I bet Stygian took plenty of time to fit in. Hey, look what I found. 
Me and my shadow, the third hit novel. Oh, he said that one is That's really hard. Where are you going? I'm not sure. <coughs> Maybe I just don't belong in this modern world. Ah. Uh. Now this here's a right. Well, you can't really go back to stone, Instead can you? Instead of solving Rockhoof's problem, we made him feel even worse. I'll tell you the real problem here. We haven't given Rockhoof the chance to be who he really is. There you go. Me with a metal shovel and a heart of gold. A hero. What we a need hero. to do is find him a job that's as epic as he is. Hmm. Where? Where and how? To serve in the Hippogriff Navy, General Seaspring. The Hippogriffs. I promise I'll prove my worth. Uh. Were you ever a sailor? I know how hard it is to adapt to a we have seen how After easily you destroy things. Below the waves, land customs seemed strange. Like you didn't fit in, no matter how hard you tried. As though the world had moved on without us. Oh. Never fear, Robert. He's fitting in so with the armpits. <laughs> in this bright future above the waves. Huh. Why do the hippogriffs need ships? If they can turn into sea ponies, Maybe don't like question it. Jack, don't question. Oh no! Also, uh, can he swim? Can Roku swim with that body of his? Can navigate the same way my cultic ancestors traveled through the silky mists. We'll look to the stars. There in the northwest sky is the constellation Bridal's belt. Steer the ship toward that. You heard the Okay. Make full sail. I guess Viking blood runs in his uh, yeah! in his veins. Rock hook did it. Oh not. Uh, I don't understand. The stars have always steered me true. No, stars can move slowly over time. They must look different now. Oh than no! Years ago, it was an honor serving with you, Rockoff. But it seems our paths lie in different directions. Ah, uh, you are saying no to him. It is not his fault. You you can relearn re 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 the. <laughs> we'll think of something else. The stars. Oh, there's no need, lass. We already know what. You just need to adjust your own directions. Really? What? Heard there's a statue spell that sends creatures into stone sleep. I want you to cast oh. it on me. I was just joking when I said you can't go back to stone. Rock hoof. No. No. I. No. It, it must feel like that uh, if someone is dying, you just she, she, they are just saying pull the plug. The answer is no. Well, but he's not happen, dying at all. I wouldn't even be here it's even worse. A statue if Twilight hadn't cast a spell in the first place. Whoa! I thought you were arguing over ice cream flavors. <laughs> the answer the is yes and no. Why would you want to be turned into stone? Because I'm a relic of a bygone age. I belong in a museum, safe, preserved, untouched. Aww. I don't belong in this time. It's up to you to make that right. But there has to be a better way. Twilight, please understand. I want to be remembered as the hero I was, not the disappointment I've become. But you're not. Rock of Weight! Spike, yeah, how? my class today. Uh, you're not really going to turn into stone, are you? Nah. Only because it's temporary. As soon as I think of a new solution, we'll wake Rock Hoof up. I know he has more to offer the world as a pony than a statue. Twilight? Did you hear Don't the do that. All the bees in the Everfree Forest and gave him his core as a gift? Well, Terra Mar said Rockhoof called down the stars and They still think he's amazing. amazing. He's definitely weird, but in a fun way. You never know what's gonna happen next with him. Yeah, he's gonna turn into a statue. Pony. Hey, class. Welcome <laughs> to theory and defense of friendship. Ah, oh, he's gonna be another Let boring me start lesson. Start by telling you that we don't get homework and we only do field trips. Yeah, nice try. Uh, Twilight sent me to tell you she won't be in today because she has to cast a stone sleep spell on Rocco. Uh, <gasps> now I have a point. He's gonna go there. Rocco isn't a bad guy. Hmm. 
Your instructions are to write an essay on heroism and what it means to you. No. They are gonna write an essay on Rokhuf. Maybe like this. Yeah, that that's gonna happen. They are just gonna tell an, uh, write an essay on heroism on Rokhuf, and the uh, is gonna. Oh, some pony. <laughs> He's gonna show it to him. I'm afraid it's too lost. But you know, being the one makes sense. Major story for class. Oh, it's sweet of you to try to get me to stay, Yona. But I'm afraid old stories like mine aren't worth anything in this day and age. Fine! If Pony no want tell Yona's story, then Yona tell Pony's story. Oh. There you go. <laughs> When Yona come to Pony School, Yona not fit in. Pony way strange, but Yona find friends. Yona meet Professor Rockhoof. Pony brave and strong as Yak, not afraid, hero. When Yona grow up, Yona want to be just like Professor Rockhoof. Well, with a tiny shower. Went to the trouble of writing something that nice. I suppose the least I could do is tell you the rest of the story. There you go. But others. Yep, all of them wanna hear the story. Okay, I have the spell, but will you please reconsider? Rock off? It's too late. To grab me by the gullet, I Claus. Oh. He's a great storyteller. She had me cornered. So and I an actor. Her. Probably. <laughs> and I say, sorry, you won't be having any dinner tonight, lass. Guess you'll <laughs> just have to grin and bear it. <laughs> and then I tossed her away with my shovel high into the sky. And she's been a constellation up there ever since. Or so I'm told. Oh, so I'm told. <laughs> of my story. No, no, thank you for listening, but it's time to say goodbye. Aww. Wait, you said there wasn't anything in this time you were good at. What about telling stories? I don't have that much stories. <laughs> Tall tale. One that captured the hearts and imagination of every creature here. Plus, I mean, stories Stygian is the one who does the same. He's just telling stories. He just writes it them down. I'd like to appoint you. As Equestria's official keeper of tales. Keeper of tales? Uh, eh. No, <laughs> I'm not sure. That's very kind of you, but I still think these old bones are more suited to a museum display. You are a living record of our history. Your stories can inspire and teach generations to come. If you're a statue, that's all lost. Is this true? I ever really belong in your world? Rock of Yona's friend. <laughs> there you go. You know, that reminds me of another story. Once there was a small yak that knew more than a great hero. Oh, <laughs> I think that's about <laughs> you know. <laughs> there were dragons and ponies and plenty of hippogriffs. Plus a changeling and a griffin. Wait, plen plenty of hippogriffs? I thought only one hippogriff is in this story. <laughs> is he talking about the other ones? The sailor hippogriffs? <laughs> I mean, I see what was wrong. Not the stars moving around. It was the, that they were in a, <laughs> in a place where there was islands protruding from the water. You can just uh, say that Oh, we need to go that way to not hit any rock. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> you still need to watch out for the uh, rocks. And that was not his fault for not watching the water. That would have been some uh, other hippogriff who, who should have been watching the water right in front of them. And when there is a fog, you don't go full speed ahead. So I don't blame Roku for that. They did. I mean, yeah, he is not an archaeologist. He should not be there. That makes sense. Uh, telling stories. That obviously makes a good uh, 
Good job for him. I mean, he could have been a grave digger. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, he, he could be he could have been a construction builder. He could have been a firefighter. Obviously. He could have been like uh, anything that involves showers <laughs> or actually just to uh, have a lifting I mean could he be an, a personal uh... no he, 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 he can be a bodybuilder it's it is uh, strength is magical it's not gained <laughs> by any means he do doesn't know how much uh, a pony needs to uh, care for his body by weightlifting <laughs> But obviously he can he can tell stories. That's uh, not that any pony can do that. That's for sure. But now we have seen that every pony, other than Starswell, had uh, have found their places. Every other column. That we don't know where he he's gonna go. He does still hasn't doesn't have any home. To go home to is Twilight gonna let him stay in the dorms and ruin more of the school? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I mean that hole is gonna be there for a while. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And next time we are gonna continue with the next episode. Who would have thought? <laughs> but thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.